What is going on? My name's Mark, Froman Mark, and welcome to week four of Froman Mark's Editing Challenge. Week four is a fun photo. I love this photo. Obviously, I'll, I love all my photos, but I love this photo, and I'm excited to see what all of our lovely participants of week four did on this edit. So, week four's photo is this lighthouse here in Oregon. A uh, fun fact about this lighthouse photo is climbing up to get this spot was difficult because it was rainy, uh, so it was very muddy. So I went through a lot of brush, a lot of shrubbery, a lot of, uh, <laughs> I crawled through a lot of stuff to get to this spot. So I finally get to this spot, I take this photo, all is great, all is groovy, and then walking down. So I get no problems whatsoever. I get down to the location, like to the ground level, and as I'm walking down, I slip. Like literally like lose my footing, slip, and my pants are just covered in mud. I don't think I took a picture of my pants, but uh, they were bad. So I threw them out there, I had a little ceremony for my pants. So rest in peace, my pants. Uh, it was very unfortunate. So uh, today's video is in loving memory of my pants. So that's the backstory for this photo. Here on screen now is going to be the photo details for this photo, all those, my lens, my settings for this photo. So check it out, hope you're enjoying it. So let's get into the edits. As always, I have my trusty iPad here to view the edits, so let's just get right into it. So the first one we're gonna be looking at, the iPad has chosen first, Tom Fox. So Tom Fox did a another phenomenal edit on this photo right here. So you can see the before and the after, of course, you know, I'm assuming future me did the transition, but yeah, 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 so. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the first thing I noticed is he added that sun glare in the left corner. Uh, and I love that, that's awesome, you know, so he, uh, you know, that that's a really, really nice touch to add a little bit of the sun coming through. It looks like he also brightened the bulb a lot, I really like that. All around, great edit, uh, the, the sky really pops, the colors pop, uh, you know, I feel like he probably tweaked the reds a little bit here, I like that, but I, I absolutely love that, that sun in the corner, so great job adding that, very impressive. So the iPad has chosen me next, actually. So here's my edit, here's before and after, of course. Um, so when I was taking this photo, I was waiting for you know the bulb to be facing me so I have it lit up. So one, one thing I really wanted to do in this my edit was to really like make the bulb pop more. So I, I really, you know, I masked out the bulb, made it pop a little bit more. I cleaned up the lighthouse as well. I'm very interested to see if any of our other participants did that as well. I'm very excited to see that. Uh, I made the reds pop a little bit more. I did work on the greens a little bit to make them you know, uh, to get them where I wanted them. <laughs> and then I also worked on the sky to get the sky to pop a little bit more, you know. The blue sky was really awesome, so I kind of kept it. It was a very moody day. It was literally like, bat in, like we got there right after it rained a bit and it rained right after we left. So we got very fortunate with this. So the weather was awesome. Uh, but yeah, I mean, obviously I love my edit. Uh, hope you do as well. And uh, that was my edit, so uh, yeah. Next, we have a brand new participant, uh, Dan. So here's Dan's before and after. Uh, I really like Dan's. You know, it's a very simple edit, but it really makes the colors pop a lot. Uh, it looks, it has like a like a moody tint to it, which I really like. Uh, you know, the colors just look really nice in this one. Uh, so yeah, uh, good job, Dan. Not too much to say, but definitely a solid edit. So I'm a fan. Good job, buddy. The iPad has chosen Dom next. Here's Dom's before and after. So. I really like Dom's because the colors pop a lot on his, like the reds, he definitely messed with the reds, uh, he messed with the green slash yellows because if you edit in Lightroom you know that Lightroom doesn't register greens as green, sometimes it's yellows and it's annoying! But uh, So, you know, the, the plants, you know, the, the vegetation, I'll call it, really pops. Uh, so that's really cool, you know, it's still very dark and moody just like his style normally is, so that's always really nice to see. Uh, a good edit, very solid edit. So. <laughs> Great job. Next, we have the lovely Brianna's. Here's her before and afters. Uh, <laughs> the purples. I love it. It looks great. Uh, you know, she loves purples, as I say every week, but like the sky being purple is awesome. It, it actually kind of fits the vibe because, like I said, it was such a moody day that day, so it, it does look that out of place. Uh, <laughs> the detail is great. <laughs> I'm a fan. This one's good. This one's funny. Uh, I like the purple. I do like the purples. Good job, Brianna. You did, you did good. Next we have Jenny, and here's Jenny's before and after. So, I, I love this one. Uh, she, she cleaned up the lighthouse. Good job on that. Uh, definitely really like the sunny, the sunny warm feel to this one. This one's re it's really nice. It does the photo like it really does make it look very warm. Uh, I really like that light bright uh, edit on this one. All the colors look great. 
uh, everything looks awesome. You know, uh, the sky just looks really much like the sky really does look like it's like a sunrise or a sunset. So it really does give a really nice vibe. So really like this one. Good job. Next we have Jason. Here's Jason's before and after. Uh, so obviously the first thing you notice, Jason did a really good job just making this the light like be, be like the main part of this. So the light shown is awesome. Uh, every, you know every, everything else is pretty simple. Uh, nothing too crazy on the edit. It does look good. Uh, but yeah, that light just looks you know it's really cool. Like he really, he looks like he masked out the light and made the pop and the, the sun rays coming off it. Good touch. Good job, Jason. I like this one. Also, shout out to Jason for cleaning up the lighthouse. Really good touch on that one. I'm proud of you for that one, buddy. Next, we have another brand new participant, Marissa. Here's Marissa's before and after. And Marissa went for the dark and moody, and I love this. It looks great. Oh, the details look nice. The colors look nice. The mood of the, of the photo looks really nice. It really does kind of uh, show what it looked like that day. So I'm definitely a fan of this one. The moody edit looks really nice. I think I've done a few similar myself on this on uh, similar photos I've taken to the location. So really nice edit on this one. Uh, love the moody. Love the look on this one, and great job, Marissa. Thanks for joining. Next, we have Sarah. Uh, here's Sarah's before and after. Sarah did a really cool job with this one. I like the sky. The sky, like looking at the before and after, the sky really pops a lot in this one, which I really like. The colors are great. Uh, overall, like this is a really sweet edit. Uh, you know, it looks good. It looks good. I'm impressed. Good job, Sarah. Next, we have Nick. Here's Nick's. Uh, Nick did an awesome job. I love I love the purple. So you know him and Brianna used the purple a lot this week. But I love the colors of this one. The purple really gives it a very different look, which I'm very much a fan of. So really good job with the colors here. I, I just think this looks really nice. Like this is like a cool little like retro feel to this photo. Uh, so definitely a fan of this one. Uh, I think it's a really sweet edit. The colors are look nice. Just like the purple vibe just really does like bring it together a lot. So really good job on this one, Nick. Next up we have Brian. Brian, here's his before and after. So Brian did a really cool job with this one. Like the details, just like this, this, this one pops a lot. Like the brightness, the details. It has like a really good mix of like dark and moody and also light and bright. Like the lighthouse looks really grimy, but like that's, that's a very in good term We're talking about like urbex stuff. So like that's meant to be like encouraging, not bad. <laughs> uh, but it really like the colors pop, but the lighthouse gives like that really detail, like dark and gloom, uh, gloomy look. But I mean, even the mountains have like that really gloomy look with like the the fog coming over it. And the, but it has like it's such like a bright popping difference, but also like very detailed and uh, dark. So I really, really, really like this edit. So really good job, Ryan, on this one. And last for this week, Sarah entered two because uh, I guess I never said you couldn't. <laughs> So Sarah entered another one, and here's the before and after for Sarah's second one. This one's like a really dark, dark photo, and I like it because like the light really pops on the lighthouse on this one. Uh, so it's a very dark feel, but like it pops, and I really like it. Um, you know, just like it really does kind of just make it look like a storm's there, which there was. So that's really, really cool. So really good job on this one, Sarah. I'm definitely a fan of this one. So thank you so much for watching week four of the edit challenge. Uh, go check out the previous weeks if you had it, and if you want to enter, hit me up with the links down below and get involved. Uh, here's gonna be this week's photo. Drum roll. There is this week's, our week five's photo, so check it out. Tune in next week to see all the edits, all what everyone did. And also, remember to edit the photo. It's between Monday, 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time until Thursday at midnight. So if you wanna enter, message me the link in the, info is down below in the description. And get involved. And thank you guys. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you for everyone participating. I've been Mark from Man Mark, and I will see you guys next week in week five on the edit challenge, 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 challenge. Have a great day.